New tonight, neighbors on Milwaukee's south side remember the little boy beaten and starved to death last week. The memorial was organized by a group called Guardians of the Children. The group vows to follow this case to the very end. Our Casey Geraldo joins us live now to share the message they're hoping to send. Casey. George and Carol, even though they couldn't protect Travion, the people who came here to this memorial tonight say they hope to send a message now that they're supporting him and his brother who survived. By the light of a candle. We just want to be here for Travion. A show of support. We didn't know what was happening to him. We couldn't be there when it was happening, so we're just going to be there for him for the rest of his journey here in Milwaukee. The biker group Guardians of the Children plans to carry Travion's memory as these women go through court accused of abusing and starving the seven-year-old. Make sure that justice is, prevails for him. It's a message neighbors are glad to see come into the neighborhood at a time where the unimaginable happened just next door. It's really hard to think that he passed away in that, in that type of situation. His neighbors say they didn't know Travion, but now they show up to moments like this one. Lay a candle. In our Lord's name, Jesus Christ. Amen. 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 And say a prayer. And then we were celebrating Thanksgiving and then he was just passing hunger and he suffered from that. The guardians of the children hope people move forward with wider eyes. If they suspect child abuse, to please report it. Something neighbors say, even though they didn't know Travion, they plan to do in the future. I need to support everyone here. Travion's brother was also found severely abused. He is still in the hospital recovering. And if you think a child is being abused, you can call the Bureau of Milwaukee Child Welfare at 414-220-SAFE. Live in Milwaukee, Casey Geraldo, today's TMJ4. An important reminder for all of us. Casey, thank you very much.